morning everybody happy friday um i am going to be making some breakfast i'm going to make some sous vide egg bites so i'm going to pop on um if you are watching this live or in august um, our amazing multi cooker is 100 bucks off so um if you are interested in that and you know it piques your interest after watching the video or you're looking for a multi um a multi cooker to be able to do sous vide cooking this is this is definitely the ticket um the other thing that i'll be using um is the flex plus system um if i get to it i i'm hoping to get to my um my protein shake because i just worked out and i i need some protein in my life okay so i'm going to be making um sous vide egg bites um which essentially sous vide cooking is cooking in um water at a slow temperature or at a slow speed so first thing that i'm going to do and i have my little recipe and if you know me like i don't usually use it recipes but this time i'm going to Deluxe multi cooker. Yeah. I do um, hard boiled eggs in there all the time, so I just leave it in there so that I can find it easily. But first thing that I need to do is fill um, the inside of the multi cooker with seven cups of water. So I went ahead and filled up my little measuring cup so you don't have to watch me fill up seven cups of water. And so there's my seven cups. Then uh, next up, I am going to lock the lid and select sous vide. Set the temperature to 172. Set the temperature to 172. I'll figure out how to do that. Press one. There we go. Okay. Only a couple options of things to push, so that made that pretty easy. Okay, set it to 172 and the timer to 90 minutes. So push it again. Three minutes, we want 90. Trying to figure out if I'm doing hours or minutes here. I think I'm making a mess of this. Then press and hold the start button and let it preheat. There we go. Okay, sounds good. All right, next up, I'm going to make my um, egg bites mixture. So I'm going to start with six eggs and I'm going to crack them into here. And then I'm going to use my, um, my hand mixer which is part of the Flex Plus system. So if you see me doing like the emulsion blender, that's the other part of the Flex Plus system is a hand mixer, which is awesome and it's so handy. Um, and I'm loving that everything is battery powered because then I don't have to like stay close to the wall over here to be able to, and that was a messy one. Got a little chunk in there. A couple little chunks. Well, that's not good. Okay. Got my six eggs. Wash my hands. All right, move this out of the way. Okay, and then I'm going to add salt. Let's see, I have my salt here somewhere. I just whipped out, so I am not quite ready to eat which is like the perfect timing to um, set something up to be ready for when i am there's my blender or my mixer okay so if you see me like i said use the emulsion blender this is the same arm and it goes on here all right and then you pop in figure out which is which okay that you pop it in Okay, I will go with that for 
today. It's just A, so. Sometimes um, the little mice in my house use my things, which is fantastic. I love that they love to cook, but sometimes I can't find the stuff afterwards. Okay, so I gotta figure out where my safety is. Oh, it's down here. That would make sense. All right. I haven't used, <laughs> used this in a while, can you tell? Yeah, I could use a cord, but it's more fun. Okay. some toppings. Okay, so I'm making egg bites and this one, aren't these the cutest? And so like at Starbucks, these cost a fortune um, to buy. So um, Paper Chef is, kind of, is really good about like being ahead of the, the curve on what things are um, interesting and kind of hot for the, yeah, for the market. And right now, gosh, it's definitely like how to save money and make it at home. So really excited we've got lots of new recipes coming i'm really excited to give things a whirl okay so i am going to take i've got um four sausages and then i just threw them in the microwave they were frozen sausage because i just need a little bit to put up on the top of um, the egg bites so i'm going to take them and i'm going to use my chopper and i am um, right below my son's room so i'm really excited to um, chop potentially wake him up a little bit so I tell them, I'm like, understand, I'm not going to be quiet, <laughs> so that's kind of our thing is, they sometimes like hear me cleaning in the morning and they don't get up because I know they don't get up, which I think is hilarious, so missed a little bit right there. Okay, so now I've got a good topping of sausage to put on the top. Those are maple, so right now I can, I've can i got this like really yummy maple smell. Okay, and then at, next up I'm gonna do, these are not eggs, these are onions. And I'm just gonna put a little bit. So get that outside layer off of there. Don't wanna eat that. All right, and that is the iron ready button. That means that our water is preheated for the sous vide cooking. Okay, so I'm just gonna give these a wrap chop just so that they fit in here into my chopper. And the more you chop, um, the finer it gets. Also keeps me from like crying over my onions, which is awesome. Gives me some good toppings there. Move this over. I um I will definitely like take a picture of the way I had to set the camera to be able to catch all of this because it would be a good, like behind the scenes kind of um, picture because I'm like the it's my anyway my camera is like on two chairs and one leg is longer than the other and one is behind and on the table which has a big puzzle on it and it's just all kinds of silly. I like to go live like before my family wakes up. Then when I got crazy things going on, they don't like walk in and look at me like I'm crazy. Um, and then end up like throwing me off like right in the middle of the video. So I'm gonna take my spray oil. Right now I have olive oil in here, but you could put other kinds of oil just so that things don't stick. It also keeps me just using a little bit rather than like using a brush. Um, so that keeps my oil consumption down, which, you know, those fats taste really good, but they do add calories quickly. Okay, so next up, we're going to pour these in there. I'm going to pour it into this because I don't, this has a pour spout, but it's a lot of liquid to deal with. Okay, so I'm going to fill them up. It says, don't fill it more than two thirds. Oh, I got a little over half. I 
love a good like keto friendly recipe for the morning. It really helps out with my goals. Kind of keeps me on track. And so not that I am keto, I just kind of lean that direction. And so I like to eat my grains when they're obviously grains instead of things that have sneaky carbs in them. Okay. And then I'm going to take um, a little bit of sausage and put it on the top. That one is not cut all the way. Okay. I wonder because it's got kind of an outside on it. If the trapper got through that really well. It's always good to try new things like on a live video, right? So I'm going for it. So those of you that are familiar with um, sous vide cooking, like definitely like put some tips in the comments because I'm kind of new to it um, and I've been kind of nervous to try it, um, especially with like steaks and things because I am like huge love, love, love things on the grill. Um, but I'm seeing these amazing recipes come out um, with sous vide cooking and um, chicken and steak and pork and all kinds of things. So if you've got tips, I would love some tips. Okay, so I'm putting my onion in on the top. Gosh, those are so easy. I haven't made these in a little while. I made them when I first got my multi cooker and then I kind of went the hard boiled egg route um, just because it was easier. All right, a little bit of salt. Again, it brings out the flavor and everything. And then pepper if you like pepper. Just recently found out, I think my whole family likes pepper and I didn't realize that, which is hilarious. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna put that on there and I have to see if I need to like wipe off the salt. It may behave. So. Okay, cover the mold with the lid, place on the rack. So there's a little rack that goes in there. That, ooh. <laughs> Cute. I make sure I have it on the rack so it doesn't like fall in there. Okay, move the lid, one beep, you got that. All right, gently push down the optional additions until they're submerged, cover with mold, place on the rack. Okay, we heard the beep. Move the lid, use the rack to lower the mold into See, it's like way for me. Okay, lower it into the water. All right, lock the lid, press the start. Well, that's easy enough. All right. Okay. Maybe. All right, and then it says when it beeps, then they'll be ready. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna make my protein shake, just really quick, just to show you how easy it is um, to flip from using the hand mixer to using the emulsion blender, which is like my favorite right now. So I forgot to get water, so I'm gonna get water real quick. I did um, a workout this morning, and yesterday was upper body, and the day before I was lower body, and um, much to my surprise, today was um, a lower body as well, which I wasn't expecting. So I'm like two lower body day, like days in a week. I'm like, that is like brutal. And so um, the recover shake will come in very handy today. So I'm going to take a scoop of my recover shake, which I talked about yesterday is chocolate, which is um, my jam. I love like my pre-workout being lemon because it like revives me in the morning, wakes me up, makes me feel happy and then I love like something that's you know kind of like a chocolate milk after my workout. Okay. So close that up. Alright and then I've got the same arm that I used a few minutes ago for um, the hand mixer which is really cool. So this all comes as a system and it's 100 bucks off in August. Um, I think it's kind of like Pamper Chef's way of saying, we see you and we see that you're trying to cook at home and people are looking for solutions to save some money. So um, if you're interested in information, just shoot me a message or post below. Okay, so I'm gonna make my 
This is the multi cooker and then this is the flex plus system so if you have any questions just shoot me a message thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye